so Scorpio. Hello. Hi. Oh, shoot. Card fell down. Do we care? Fool. Okay. New beginning. All right. Thank you, angels. What else do we have for Scorpio? Oh, hey, y'all. Hi. Mer Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. All right. Uh-huh. Cletus. Hey, Cletus. Happy birthday. New beginning, new journey in love and connection. Hey, queen. Male or female, non-binary. Hey. Yeah, Scorpio, brand new, brand new, brand new. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Here come the shitty cards. Two of Pentacles. Five of Swords. What'd I say? Justice. Okay, somebody's going back and forth. Somebody's feeling like giving up. Somebody is a little... Mm -mm. For why? Why? Oh, somebody is starting to feel like a fish out of water. Somebody's would get, oh, somebody went through a transition, right? You're going through a transition. You closed out one cycle. You got a new cycle beginning. You're like, I don't know. I wasn't ready yet. Um, I'm not ready, Cletus. Sorry, my nails are dirty. I got to clean them. Um, you're going back and forth. You're like, but I'm not ready or am I? Or I don't know. Right? Um, angels are saying some of you guys are clinging on to the past. But here's the thing. I don't feel like it's the past as in past person, past relationship. To me, this feels like the past as in your comfort zone. You're not fully comfortable in this new environment and new space. So you're like, I, I just want to go home. I just want to go back to my comfort zone. And the universe is like, no, Scorpio, just stay a little while longer. We promise it'll get better. We promise... Um, you'll become more comfortable. Ooh. Okay, I think uh Okay, so these are such good cards. Especially these, those are good 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 cards. Right? It's almost like the universe is bringing you love, a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection, right? Whether it is in love, right, or it's the perfect job, or the perfect best friend, or even the perfect animal, right, doll, cat, ferret, fish, whatever, right, it's like the universe is bringing, bringing you your other half and better half, I'm sorry, so for some reason my eyes just went towards the genitals, let me stop and keep going, because I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> but, all right, anyway, you're a lot more stable and secure. Um, I do kind of feel like your world, your world, your world, seasons, cycles, changes, your path, your destiny. Angels are saying that for some of you guys, you're now comfortable with either your life purpose, your spiritual gifts, your purpose on this planet, your role in your family, your role in a relationship, your role at work, right? It's almost like you were comfortable to me. Yeah, there's your comfort zone. But the universe is like, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, Scorpio, we're just going to move you over into this new environment, new space. Uh, Walmart is over here to the left, the gas stations are to the right, and Scorpio's like, mm. um, I didn't get the memo that I was supposed to be moving, Lorraine. Universe is like, okay, Scorpio, here's your memo. So you're starting off on a brand new journey. Now, I was just saying to someone, now, I know about universal time versus human time. I know that human time is just a measurement, right? It's a way for us to measure our days and measure time and measure space and, you know, frequencies and things like that. I get it. I get it. I get it. But for some reason, the new year, closing out one year and turning the calendar into a new year, for me personally, it does feel like a brand new chapter. Right? It feels like that page where you wrote up all on the page and then you turn the page and the new page is just so crisp and flat and it has no words. And there's this beautiful new beginning to tell a different part of your story. So for me, the new year is very, very, very um, relieving. I feel so relieved because it's like a brand new beginning, which is here with the Aquarius card. And Aquarius uh, is what, at the end of January, Aquarius season. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you will have your new beginnings during Aquarius season um, towards the end of January. For some of you, you could meet your soulmate. Angels also said too, towards the end of January could be significant for those of you guys who are already in established relationships. 
something about that relationship you and or your partner or your person is going to want it want to make it more permanent angels are also saying too you guys have done an amazing job at laying a beautiful foundation in whatever this is could be a business could be a lover could be a mother right reestablishing a connection a bond with a mother or whomever you guys have done an amazing job at building a rock solid foundation right now that that foundation has been built now let's go ahead and make it work for you and also make it work for the rest of the world so i do kind of feel like based on where you're headed scorpio there are strong destiny implications here life purpose implications meaning now that you've gotten everything that you want i feel like it's time for you to get out into the world and start sharing your fortune your gift your knowledge your information with others scorpio's like um I don't know about that that going back and forth i mean it sounds good and god you know i i have no problem doing that but i don't even know where to start like who would i even talk to or how would i even right that to me is what the five of swords energy is kind of giving me um it's kind of mm -mm. sorry we had uh technical difficulties with the card selection ace of wands six of wands yeah i feel like um it, the universe is is making the call to you Scorpio that it's now time for you to start going into service meaning servicing the world helping the world helping the earth helping you know other energy beings and Scorpio's like but but I just, I just don't know I don't know how to get started I mean this is new to me what do I do who do I talk to and I apologize here comes a shameless plug for those of you, by the way, who are ever interested in your psychic or spiritual abilities, I do have seven whole entire videos on my channel about how to develop those psychic abilities, as in what dreams mean, how do you know who you're contacting, discerning, meditation, subconscious and uh, uh, conscious energy and the different files of angels and you know what I mean? So um, you should be able to click on the title of this video. It'll no click on alex's healing tarot of this video it'll take you to my channel go to playlists and it's developing your psychic abilities sorry and i felt the need to say that because i remember when i did those videos and i i didn't i didn't know why i did them kind of sort of but anytime somebody's like hey you know a book i could read or you know a resource i'm like uh yeah angels you know channel that information through me so by the way um so, so yeah it kind of feels like good things are happening for you scorpio but you are feeling a little not insecure uh not confident unsure because you don't know what to do the fool is exactly that he does not have any knowledge information or experiences about the world as of yet so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are embarking on something brand spanking new. And right now you're just feeling a little uncomfortable because it's a new environment for you. Of course, I have to say the bullshit to you, Scorpio. Yeah, keep going. Keep pushing forward. It feels uncomfortable today, but eventually it won't be. Eventually it'll feel very freaking comfortable. Then the universe will come along and be like, okay, we're moving you again. And you'll be like, what the fuck? So it's easier, it's best said to, you know, just kind of get comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's what evolution and growth is all about. Once something has been created, it's like, okay, it exists. Now let's move on to the next part, right? You don't ever cook a meal and be like, okay, now that I fried the chicken, let me just put it on a plate. No, you want to make a starch, you want to make a vegetable, maybe dessert, maybe have a drink with it, right? So there's always other stuff for you to do to complete the meal. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like it. <clears throat> Ooh, three of wands. Ooh, queen of cups and queen of pentacles and ace of pentacles. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nine of pentacles. Ooh, yo. Ten of pentacles. Now, let me show y'all, because a lot of y'all are probably focusing right now on this raggedy-ass three of swords, but I'm going to say to you, Scorpio, mind your damn business. You always zeroing in on the negative first. How about you take a look at 
this amazing ace of pentacles with the queen of pentacles with the nine of pentacles with the ten of pentacles and the justice card so your time the angels are saying your time and effort will be handsomely rewarded not only that all your pain has a purpose right you were sitting here looking at oh lord hey girl third party who's she gonna tell me is cheating on me now you're cheating on your damn self because you should be doing other stuff anyway <laughs> um and and it's weird because they again i love my angelic team because they're like yeah you're cheating on yourself as in for some of you guys you're overly focused on love soulmates relationships and you may not even be how do you say that accessing your greatest strengths or utilizing your greatest strengths Ooh. and angels are saying yes your heart may be your greatest strength but giving your heart to one person no mas that is not your greatest strength that is not why you were born into this life scorpio right like you see some people who get especially women who get tattoos on their chests right their their um pecs their chest breast muscle or not breast muscle but their chests and they have their lover's name over their heart i'm going to keep you close to my heart universe is like bitch that is not why your ass was born to get to get charles's name tattooed on your chest uh -uh. <laughs> uh, angels just said i feel like seriously and sincerely for some of you guys there is an over concentration on love and relationships y'all know who that was whoever that message was for angels are saying you got the memo um okay there's a message here one two three four that basically basically says uh and i've read about this before there are some of you guys who give up before trying you give up before your rewards are delivered so check that right it's almost like you may go into business and you haven't seen a turn to profit in like 10 months nine ten months and the universe is like keep going keep going keep going but some of you guys are used to giving up when you don't get your own way Ooh, ooh. I know, I know, Cletus, I heard it too. I'm just saying. Some of you guys are used to giving up when you don't give your own way, get your own way. Universe is like, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's not all about you, Lou. Ooh, <laughs> I can't, I got rhyming angels. <sighs> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, all air, air signs are here, okay? Scorpio, you have not shown up in your own reading, so take this as universal advice, right? This is advice coming directly from the angels for you. Typically, you could figure stuff out yourself. You could go into your own intuitive bag and you know figure things out on your own. This is almost like the universe sitting you down in front of them, like your guidance counselor used to do in high school and say to you, okay, so I'm looking at your grades and I'm, you know, it's like an assessment, right? And you know, looking at your grades and you excel over here and you're great over here. Have you ever thought about going into this type of work? That's what this is. It's a universal assessment as far as what you really should be focusing on. Not only only what you really should be focusing on, but what really is going to yield the highest rewards. I sound like an investment banker or, or a financial analyst or somebody, right? Like it's going to yield the highest rewards. Uh-huh. I don't know why my voice had to go masculine. Mm -hmm, I know. It's okay. Yeah. Um, this is endurance. Strength and endurance about this new beginning a lot of you guys are looking for connection and purpose makes sense i feel like this is dual messages here a lot of you guys will be rewarded for your service then the other message is a lot of you guys are already established financially where some of your service work could in, uh, could involve like donations and giving away money, setting up um, funds and scholarships and things of that nature. Not only that, but angels just said, I triggered somebody just now because I heard somebody say, oh my God, I was just thinking about setting up a scholarship. This is your notification to do it. Now, yeah, walking into the unknown, it's a little scary, it's a little intimidating, but that's exactly why you do have your spiritual senses, your clairs, your clairaudience, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience, right? Just like you have your human five senses, smell, touch, taste, whatever, to interpret the world, you also have your spiritual senses to help you navigate through the unknown. 
So stop your shit about being scared, about being a, a getting hurt, about you know your heart getting broken, about being disappointed. Angels are saying again, Scorpio, it's not all about you. I don't know who, who this message is for. And angels just clarified it. Anytime I ask a question, angels right, right there with the answer. Eight of wands, information. They're saying there are those of you who have completed some sort of uh, cycle or schedule or mastery. It's like, oh, well, you know, I just got my achievement. I just got my degree. I just got my apartment. I just moved. I got the job I wanted. This is your reading, by the way, right? Because now that you've gotten to where you want it to be, you now are being sat in front of an angelic guidance counselor and saying, okay, well, what are we going to do next? When you finish high school, where, where are we going next? Ooh, I love that um, analogy. Some of you guys have finished a group of educational lessons, classes, teachings. Fool. So now it's like, okay, I graduated high school. Some of you guys are starting college, uh, literally and figuratively, right? You literally and metaphorically. In other words, this next phase is higher in frequency and delivery and reward so what's that going to be, Scorpio? For some of you guys, it's going to require a freaking Olympic size leap of faith, right? The long jump, <laughs> right? It's going to require you to remain flexible and uh, leave your comfort zone. Yeah, there's the comfort zone right there. Because the five of swords is like ghosting or, you know, just dipping right? Feeling defeated, like, yo, I'm out. But here's abundance. It's going to be beneficial for you to walk away. Now, I'm not saying leave your job, pack up and leave, because you just arrived, right? <laughs> like, how the hell are we sitting here saying to you, okay, it's time for you to pack up and leave, and you just arrived? Physically and literally. We're not saying to you, okay, you do need to leave your dream job. You do need to leave your dream. No, 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 no. What we're saying to you is energetically, as far as your destiny, your path, your life purpose, it's time to shift and leave one level, one cycle, one chapter to the next one. The next one is going to be in advantageous as fuck. You hear me? Luca, financially lucrative. You have the ace, the queen, the wheel of fortune, the 10, the nine and justice. All you got to do, Scorpio, is hang in there and stop being a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I get that from Kevin Hart. Is it Kevin Hart? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> in other words, hang in there. I know it's uncomfortable, but hang in there. Don't allow love to distract you. Mm, I'm just saying. Look, look, put your eyes towards the Lord. What, whatever and whoever that whatever that means to you. Eight of Swords. Okay. Okay. Angels are saying you're you're continuously reminded of the failures of the past. Well, you know what? Look pa look past the failures of the past and look towards the success of the future. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. Right? Stop thinking about what you can't do and start thinking about what you gonna knock out the fuck fucking park. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. There's a foundation. Remember I said earlier related to your relationships or whatever, you've done an amazing job at building your foundation so the universe is saying you've already built a foundation scorpio you can go anywhere and build other foundations stop your shit <laughs> oh i don't know i'm just i'm just enjoying myself mm -hmm. page of wands here's a message by the way you have a sign or symbol or a message that's going to come in and reconfirm this message all over all over again uh-huh, uh-huh. So I have the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, the High Priestess here, here twice, Three of Swords, going within, doing some self-evaluation, self-work. Angels are saying clearing out any sort of pain or heartbreak that could hinder you from moving forward successfully. And again, Three of Swords here because Lovers is here with the Three of Wands, right? Again, you guys are thinking heavily about a love situation. Um, 
It's almost like you're waiting for your love life to mature and maybe to get over something. Okay, so this is healing. What is this message, universe? Oh, they need confirmation that they've healed and they will usher in new love. Yeah, absolutely, honestly. Uh, that just means that it's a separate message for a separate group of Scorpios. I feel like you've been asking the universe, how do I know if I'm healed or how, where, how, what would I feel? Or how would I know if, you know, if I'm clear to, to attract new soulmate love? Here's your confirmation. You're free and clear. You've been asking for this because I have the high priestess twice. You've been meditating. You've been going within. It's almost like some of you guys are agreeing to start dating again, to start, you know, opening your hearts up and yourselves up to love. And you just wanted to make sure that before you did that, that you were free and cleared. So let me be the first human to say to you, yes, Scorpio, you're free and cleared to date again, right? This is your air traffic controller, right? This is your captain speaking. Okay. And I have the Empress with the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. You need to invest in yourself is what I'm hearing here. Some of you guys are wondering, going back and forth. This is spilling over into the love portion. Some of you guys are going back and forth and wondering whether or not you should leave a lover situation. You're confused. Um, you're going to get the message. And I feel like, look, 10 of pentacles and a 10 of cups. Y'all saw how that just happened naturally. Naturally, I just knocked that over. I feel like in all honesty, for those of you, who, whomever this message is for, you really have to think about yourself, right? The, the investment in self. And because it's almost like, you, how can you invest in a relationship if you ain't, inve you're not investing in yourself? And I feel like the more you invest in yourself, everything around you will be an investment for self, right? So the more you feed you, the more the universe will provide you food and information and knowledge around you to feed you as well. But if you're constantly looking and feeding somebody else, then the universe is always going to send you somebody else to feed too. So I feel like this is basically saying, here's a message. Yeah, you're, a lot of you guys didn't know this and you needed this information here today. Because I feel like, again, when it comes to these new beginnings, new cycles, new ebbs and flows in your life, you're going about it ass backwards. You are thinking that the world and people and energy is outside of you. It is not. It is inside of you. So by feeding within, you know, especially religion teaches us, oh, that's selfish and thine brother is sister, a monkey is my keeper, right? Or I'm their keeper. No, the God with God within is in self. And the more and better you get, uh, the better you get at catering and loving and taking care of self by default is illuminating and helping and caring for others because the same light that you are is the same light that everybody else is. So if your light is dim, you are dimming the light of the whole. So the universe is saying to you, Scorpio, get better at feeding yourself, taking care of yourself and keeping your light freaking illuminated. Okay. I don't know who needed to hear that. I don't know who needed to hear that, but these double tens sitting right here with the star card, it's like, no, baby, you are my greatest creation. Don't you dare look outside of yourself and think that there is something out there better than you, number one, or number two, that you need somebody outside of you to let you know how fucking amazing you are. Oh, oh, y'all see him triggered. I got to go now. I got to go, Scorpio. I'm rolling my eyes sitting here at you like, uh, -uh don't you dare think that there's something outside of you that's better than you. We are all the same. You hear me? We are all the same light. I'm rolling my eyes. And again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, that was the message you needed to hear. That was the enlightenment. That was the guidance. That was the answer to your prayer. You don't need nobody else. Shit. You only need that light inside you. That little, little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Oh, God. <laughs> I got to go. All right. I'm going, Cletus. <laughs> Look at me snatching stuff. <laughs> balanced, spiritual, <laughs> balanced spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Adjustments are required. Uh-huh. Prosperity lies ahead. It always does. 
It always does. Confidence is the key to success and your damn commitment is being tested. It's like Scorpio, who did you come here for? Take your time, I'll wait. Who did you come here for? Did you come here for me, which is God? Or did you come here for you, for your love life, for, for your pentacles? Like, who did you come here for? Ooh, ooh. Who is time to release negativity? That's a full moon in Scorpio. Who Moses. All right, I'm getting the tingles, y'all. Who did you come here for? Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, uh, Capricorn, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Uh, who do we have? Leo, Gemini, Pisces and Cancer, Virgo, Cancer and Pisces, Taurus and Libra, and the double fucking tens. And a partridge in a pear tree. All right, so I'm going. I'm going to mind my business. Scorpio, if you love the reading, if you like the reading, if you were moved by the reading, like, share, subscribe, comment, let us sister know. Who did you come here for? <laughs> I love you, Scorpio. Bye.